here we're being asked which of these statements is best supported by the text. So that's pretty much a main idea thing. Let's start reading. In this year, scientists discovered an immense aggregation of these octopuses along a hydrothermal vent at this depth. The temperatures at this site climb as high as 11 degrees Celsius, much warmer than the ambient temperature that's typical here. Based on observations made over three years, they concluded that the temperatures likely confer reproductive benefits and the site is used for reproduction. They found adults, hatchlings, and eggs, but no juveniles were present. So that's a little curious. There's this area in a hydrothermal vent that seems to be the perfect place for octopuses to have their babies. But when they studied it, they found adults, hatchlings, and eggs, but no juveniles, no teenagers. So which of the answer choices can go along with that idea? A says, the octopus leaves the garden upon reaching an intermediary stage, a teenager stage. That sounds perfect because there were adults and babies, but not teenagers, not juveniles. B, the octopus population remains stable despite variations in water temperature. So there's nothing there discussing that peculiarity that the different age groups, aside from juveniles, were all present. C, the octopus nests in the garden contain fewer but larger eggs than nests at similar ocean depths. Well, we don't really know anything that would have to do with the size of the eggs. It's kind of outside of the discussion. And D, the octopus garden provides an ideal feeding ground for the hatchlings. Well, that wouldn't really explain why the adults are there, only the hatchlings. And it wouldn't explain why the teenagers are so absent. So I might even call D a good second answer. But A is perfect because it says the octopus leaves right at that intermediary stage, which is a perfect explanation for why all the other ages were there, but the juveniles were missing. So the answer here is A.